Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. So today we will be solving the problem co-schedule 1 and 2. Both the problems are interlinked. So we'll be solving both the problems in this particular video. So what does the problem state? You're given total of n tasks labeled from uh, 0 to n minus 1. Some tasks might have prerequisites. For example, to do uh, task 0, you have to first complete task 1, which is expressed as a pair 0, 1. Given the total number of task n and a list of uh, prerequisite task p, find if it is possible to finish all tasks. So let's analyze the question. So it states, if I'm stating 1, 0, it means if you have to perform 0, you should have performed 1 before that. So I can probably state it something like this. 1 should have been performed before 0. That is what they demand. Okay. So this is about the first task. What is about the next task? They are saying in order to perform task 1, you should have performed task 2. So in order to perform task 1, before that you should have performed the task 2. So I can definitely align it. So this is done. Next, what are they saying? They are saying in order to perform task 2, you should have performed task 3. So in order to perform task 2, you should have performed task 3, which means I can definitely go and write 3 over here. So Again, this task can also be performed. So what I see is if at first I perform three, I, would, I can actually perform task two, which will mean this. Then if I perform task two, I can actually perform task one, which will mean this. If I perform task one, I can actually perform task zero, which means this. So apparently I can actually perform all the given tasks that is given to us. So thereby I can say, yes, it is possible to perform such a particular task. So that was about when we can perform a task. Let's take one more example and let's analyze when we cannot perform a task. So if you carefully see this particular example, I'm saying, okay, uh, one, in order to perform task two, I should have performed task one. So task two, I should have performed task one, which means this can only be performed if task one is performed before it. Okay. Let's, so this is, this can be done. Let's go to the next one, which means we can only do three if four is performed. We can only do three if four is performed. So I can definitely say we can only do three if four is performed. Perfect. Now, this could have been written over here. I've written over here due to some reason. Let's go to the next thing. I'm saying four can only be performed if task two is done. And we see task two can be performed before four because we do not have any dependency. Thereby, this can also be performed. Let's analyze the last one. The last one says, one can be performed if task four has been performed prior to that. So one has to be after four. One has to be after four. But wait, two has to be before four, which states this. And one has to be before two. So is this possible? No. You see, there is a cyclic dependency happening. You see, there is a cyclic dependency. So if I analyze it properly, one has to be performed before two. 2 has to be performed before 4 and in order to perform 1, it has to be performed before 4. So first 4, then 1. So you see a cycle getting formed. So there is a cyclic dependency forming. Like 1 has to be performed before 2, 2 before 4 and 1, 4 before 1. So it's not possible because you have a cyclic dependency. You cannot perform the task. Got it. So thereby, I cannot perform this task because of the prior conditions. Hence, we will say uh, no to this, right? So this is what we have to figure out. Given a pair of tasks, you have to tell me yes, if you can perform. You have to tell me no, if you can't perform. So this is what the problem states. You'll be given a pair of tasks and you have to tell me yes, if you can perform. And you have to tell me no, if you cannot perform the given pair of tasks. Which algorithm to use? Can I say that I can definitely use something as a topological sort, which you have learned in the previous video? Can we? Yes, we can. Why? The reason is very simple. If you remember the definition of topological sort, it stated if there is an edge between U and V, which we can treat it as the task U should have been done if you want to perform the task V. I can define this as an edge. Then the linear ordering of vertices must have u before v then the linear ordering of vertices must have u before v 
and that is what we are doing we are saying okay in order to perform task 1 it 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 is something like this a directed edge from 1 to 0 and one should appear before like one should have been done before zero right so can i relate this problem to something as topological sort yes so can i say i need to figure out possibility or not i need to figure out possible or not possible so when is a topological sort possible when can i write linear ordering of vertices only when it's a directed graph and we assume we are given we can express the pairs as directed graphs like if we are given something like task 2 to 4 we can actually see it as 2 to 4 so we can definitely express this as a directed graph what is the next thing it stated a cyclic graph it stated a cyclic graph the graph must not have any cycles the graph must not have any cycles so thereby i can determine that topological sort is only valid for dag and what does topological sort means i can order them in such a way that u appears always before v so over here if you see i cannot order these guys because you cannot make sure that 4 appears before 1 It is not possible why because it's and it contains a cycle so thereby a topo sort will not be possible so can i say the question is very straightforward either you can solve it by saying i will detect if the graph has a cycle that's a very simple thing that you can do detect a graph has a cycle and you can use a dfs to do that because it's a directed graph you can use the dfs way or you can use the bfs way which use says topo sort yes we can use the bfs way which uses topo sort now you can go the dfs way in order to just tell me a yes or no but in the next part of the question they'll ask us the ordering thereby i'll solve this problem using bfs or the topo sort you can definitely do it using dfs i've already taught you how to detect a cycle in a directed graph so you can go back and definitely do it using dfs as well so guys i hope you have understood the explanation why topo sort or why cycle detection so as usual i'll be writing the c++ code on the right and you can figure out the java code on the left so you're given n you're given uh, the pair of prerequisites so at first what i'll do is i'll try to create the graph because we need to create the directed graph in order to check for a cycle or topo sort or whatever so what i'll do is i'll at first create the adjacent cells and you're given the pair so i can just uh, walk through the pairs So let's walk through the pairs and i can say adjacency of it dot first because i'm saying this guy should be performed before this so there's a edge between this to that right so id dot first dot push back of id dot second so we are definitely sure that this is how we have to form the graph so i can say the graph is formed and it's a zero based indexing so it's fine and we need to check for topo sort we need the topo sort to be checked Now what is the next thing we need to check for topological sort. So what I'll do is I'll go over here to the topological sort and I'll just copy paste the entire code that we wrote for topological sort and I'll bring that and I'll try to copy paste it here. So this is the topological sort for any given graph. I'll just uh, remove the this one. So I can say okay this is how we have stored the topological sort. And if my ordering contains all of them yes if my ordering contains all the vertices then i can say that there was definitely not a cycle thereby all the vertices were there in the topo sort so i can say yes or or which means true or i can say if not then i can say a false so once you have done this let's quickly analyze if everything is fine okay this is n so probably we can just convert this into v because in topo sort we are using v and over here we can do it v perfect now let's compile and run I compile and run, uh, and then I'll submit. So you see that this is running absolutely fine. Okay, so once we have solved this particular problem, we'll go to the next problem, which is course schedule. So this problem has slight modifications. Now over here, if you have to do task zero, you have to first finish task one. So the ordering is like in the previous question, it would have been given one comma zero. Over here, they've just reversed it. They're saying in order to perform zero, you should have done one. So There's an edge between one and zero, so just uh, the mention of the pair has been reversed. Cool. Now you have to find the ordering of task in order to finish all the task, and there might be multiple correct answers. You just need to return one of them. If it is impossible to finish all task, 
return an empty array is what they are saying. So what I'll do is I'll go back over here and I'll just try to copy this and then I'll do the changes that I require. So if you see, uh, we're given N, we're given N. So if you see, we're given N and M. So I'll just convert this to capital V and let, let this be M. So we're given a vector. So over here, we know the pairs have been reversed. So IT of one, because it is a vector and it will form a directed edge to IT of zero because they're giving it in the opposite order this time. So this is how we'll do. Once you do everything, if this is possible, then we return the ordering tuple. And if it is not, then we return simply an empty array. This is what I will do. Once I've done this, I'll try to compile and run and see if it is running fine. And we see it is, and now we'll try to submit this. So we see that all the test cases are running absolutely fine. So guys, I hope you've understood how to implement tuple sort in such problems. Whenever you see problems where they state something before something, that is when the intuition of tuple sort should jump to your brain. Remember this always. So I hope uh, you've understood everything. So just in case you did, please, please, please make sure you like this video. And if you're new to our channel, what are you waiting for? Kill that subscribe button right away. And yeah, if you haven't checked out our DP series and the SD sheet, the links will be in the description. And with this, I'll be wrapping up this video. Let's meet in some other video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care. Broken.